And then there's a question by Dimitri. He said, um, he said he looks at the company, he, he, he uses a screener, but then if he has, sees bad news and he doesn't even buy, good news, for example, buy recommendations, he, he buys. And when there's um, very little news, he's found that it's been very better to buy and invest in companies. And he just asked um, these questions. First of all, I just want to comment on it. For most of the companies, if you look for undervalued companies using, uh, using QI value or even um, your value composite too, you will see that there's definitely going to be bad news in the market on those companies. For example, if you just look at, uh, um, at Medical Facilities Corporation, this company here that we recommend in the newsletter, which still looks extremely cheap, um, there's a lot of negative news about that, right? People have been avoiding hospitals because of COVID. Nobody's been doing elective surgery. A lot of these hospitals have been standing empty and uh, you know, it's obviously been bad for profit. So there's gonna be negative news, but if you use a lot of other factors like the ones I mentioned specifically in the, um, in the crash portfolio where you wanna screen out bad quality companies, You'll avoid a lot of companies like that where the quality is really bad and the company is going downhill. So, you know, I think it's normal to expect that there will be negative news on most of the companies that you find that are completely undervalued. 